everybody. It's Debbie. You're at your home, your happy place. Welcome. I'm so glad to see you today. Thank you for coming. And if you're new, welcome. And please consider subscribing before you're done. Oh, and if you like this video, please don't forget at the end or anytime. Give me that thumbs up. I really need it. Today, I'm just going to do a couple quick changes for post-Easter, so Easter's like two weeks away. Most of you've probably already taken your Easter stuff down. Mine's piling up over in my um, rotunda waiting to be packed up. But I just wanted to show you how I planned a very simple transition so that I wasn't taking everything away and starting from scratch. That's fine if that's what you wanna do. But if you're looking for budget-friendly and quick changes that are very stress-free, this is what I will recommend. So for a reminder, I'm gonna first show you what my Easter table looked like. And this is my kitchen everyday table. I don't know that I even got to my dining room table for Easter this year, I kinda didn't. Next year. Okay, of course everybody's table is gonna be different. Um, you know, I have these very colorful chairs and I ended up with a, I mean, I bought this as a set at TJ Maxx or Home Goods. I'm not sure where. Um, so I loved it because I don't know if I would have put something like that together. I've layered runners before, but I love the color and I love how that punch of color pulled out. Um, I mean, it's pulling out the tulips and the color in my chairs and then uh, doing the blue plates, which if you watched my Easter everyday table video, you know none of this was my plan. Everything had to change on the fly. Seems like I'm designing on the fly a lot lately um, because I couldn't find all the plates I wanted. So when I talked to you about the blue plates, I told you that um, it's a set I bought on Amazon and I was inspired to look it up because of some plates I had in my dining room. I did, you know, I read the label to you and I thought, hmm, I wonder if they make anything else. And sure enough. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to make two quick changes here to take it from Easter. Let me see if you can guess what they are. Okay. If you guessed changing out this little bunny here and changing out my luncheon plate bunnies, you are right. Do I need to change this out? Do not have to, but I will show you um, a further step. But first, let's just start with what you would have to do to just get this off of Easter. Okay, with those two simple things in mind, I'm gonna take the Easter bunny plates off of the blue plates and I'm going to replace them with the plates that come with this and this is my Fitz and Floyd well you can't see it because it's backwards um the pattern is hmm I think it's Toulos Toulos but I will have it linked below it says one look and you know that must be their tagline I love this you know it says bird then I don't know what the language is wood thrush it talks about um and then it has a little bit about this bird there's a butterfly on it the nest and eggs i love that and you know i think this is supposed to be twig i was always about ready to call it bamboo but it's twig which just matches what i'm doing on the um charger so i'm going to change out all of these really quick Now for the napkins, I could just change out the bunny, but I feel like the color story here, I'm just not 
in love with it at the moment. So I'm taking it into the direction of my summer. So I told you we start with the blush and I will carry a little blush throughout my house all the way through the year this year. Um, but in summer, I bring in more aqua. And so these are absolutely gorgeous napkins from Pier One years ago. They actually have beads on them. So beautiful. Um, and then I just, it's not, the color is really, it's more of a green still. And so it doesn't really match. And yet there's a green in there. I just think it looks good on the table. And then my napkin ring. Oh, I still have price tags on. These are old. Pier one. So this was $4.95 if you can believe it. That That's what it looks like there. And then these are um, polished petrified stone. Gorgeous. But it has that rim just like the plates and just like the charger. And then inside it's a gray blue with flecks of blue. And all of them are slightly different and, and they're all irregular. So I'm gonna pop those in, in, in place, and I'll show you the table. I mean, we're talking a quick change and very inexpensive. So if I wasn't filming this, this quick change could have been done in <laughs> literally two minutes flat. Um, the table's end result looks like a gorgeous spring. And if you notice, like that green leaf in that um, luncheon plate is, um, it really stands out as being a totally different color as does my greenish napkin, and yet the bluish uh, feel on the napkin ring just really matches the plate. And so it comes across as a really cohesive look. I just really love it. And you guys, if you can't, I mean, I'm sure if you looked hard enough, you might be able to find some kind of similar I'll, I'll look, but I haven't seen anything, but I wasn't looking. I will look and see if I can find something similar as far as a napkin ring. But you guys, I imagine you can find things like this at Michael's and glue them together um, and make some absolutely gorgeous napkin rings for a lot less than you can buy. Okay. So how would I uh, recommend you going about achieving something as simple as this? Look and see what you have as far as sets that have a scene or maybe it's just a pattern that you have on your luncheon plate. And then look at that color and say to yourself, wow, I would like to use this in the fall or at Christmas or you know, spring, summer. And then look for a luncheon plate that is special. Let's say you've gone with navy as your base and it's you're wanting to do maybe 4th of July or Memorial Day. You know, look for some kind of patriotic type plate um, or something summer plate that's a luncheon plate. And you pop that in there and you change out your napkins to something that's more for the holiday versus something that's a little more muted. Let's say you've gone with a, a flag theme and you've got, you know, a patterned um, napkin. And let me say this, I know this is a whole separate idea. You will be able to find, let's, let's just go with this. We're designing a Memorial Day or we're designing a 4th of July table. You will be able to find 
plenty of table runners or napkins on Amazon. However, that's not the only thing you should consider. I would also recommend, yes, it would be probably a little bit more expensive, but um, spoon flour. I love to shop spoon flour for my wallpapers. And whatever you buy as spoon flour also comes in fabric. Um, and it comes in a lot of fabrics now. I mean, you can buy stuff to make clothes. I don't even know what all is available. So I am looking at it myself for uh, the little boy's room that I started at our cottage um, because I saw some, cur uh, some fabric that I'd like to use for curtains and pillows in there. So that's a spot to look at. And there's plenty more, but if you have this minimum skills of sewing a straight line, go to Joanne or go to um, Hobby Lobby even Walmart, they don't have as much to look at for fabric. And look at the fabrics that are out there for the holidays. Uh, you can sew, sew a straight line and you can make your own table runner with a coordinating or matching napkin. Those are just some tips for making it very custom. Okay, so back on topic. That's all you need. You need your luncheon plates and maybe you need a different napkin or you need a different napkin ring. So simple. But now I'm gonna take it one more step further because in my mind, the tulips are very spring and my runner with the bunnies are very spring. So I'm gonna transition it just to, I'm gonna give it one more nudge and we'll see what I think. I haven't tried this yet. So join me in the experiment. I'm gonna make two more changes. I'm gonna take away my tulips, which I adore. And I'm gonna take away the top runner that has the bunnies and eggs on it. And I want you to know, I'm just using stuff I have here. None of this was bought new for this video. There's easier ways to do this, but... Okay, I've changed it up by taking out that runner that was layered over it. And honestly, if I wanted to do another layered runner, I have all of these colors to choose from. I mean, there's a peachy red, there's a green, we've got goldish yellow and blue, and of course white. But I'm not, I'm going to bring in a big bouquet. It may be too big. I'm really going to have to squeeze it in here uh, and just see what it does. Again, I haven't tried this yet, but I thought of it today and I thought, let's see what that would look like. One more tip I'm going to give you as far as shopping. If you're at TJ Maxx or Home Goods and you see something that really catches your eye, um, but it's a little pricey, really take a minute, you know, something that you really think you would use. I've done that with florals and it's been very rewarding. But the first couple times I almost didn't buy. I don't remember the price of the tulips. That one's been broken. Very unfortunate. I didn't do it. <laughs> but uh, my mother was with me and she goes, you really, really like it. You really should buy it. Now, since then, I'm looking at a, a set of tulips over there that I um, bought that replaced them. The other ones were yellow though, and it was just so beautiful and bright. I loved it. But this is another one. I have bought this years ago. And of course they're hydrangeas and it looks like a lot, right? And it is. And they're in this beautiful white bowl. And this bowl is, is not, I mean, it's thick as you can see there. So this is a great, <laughs> I don't remember what I paid for. And a lot of times I have the prices on it. But I'm pretty sure this one was easily a hundred dollars and that's a lot, but you know, wow. Okay. I'm going to pop this on here. Let's see what it looks like. I knew 
knew it would be big. I'll get it on there first and then I'll deal. Okay, here we go. Now I have comments. It's a very strong blue that is not in my chairs whatsoever. I have options. I have the option of bringing my white chairs up, but I don't think I'm going to. I have a lot of blues going on, but what you should see is the blue in those hydrangeas is almost exact match to the blue in my table runner. And so I think I really like it. Do I like my tulips better? I do. I do. And I probably will put them back. But I am looking at this and thinking ahead and thinking, okay, I've got some gorgeous white plates that I'll be bringing out for summer. Um, and I don't know, you know, what else will be mixed in with that. Um, but I really, really think this is a, a beautiful centerpiece on this table. Even if I didn't have a table runner or the table set, I think I would really like it. And I don't know that I'm going to keep the table set. Um, we're going to be having um, guests a lot over the summer. So this is not something I'm going to have. And in fact, I'm going to have the table probably extended because I want to be ready for the company. Fortunately, we have um, two six-seater tables right outside the door. So as the weather improves, we will probably spend a lot of time eating out there. Okay, and now I'm going to do a real quick changeover in my family room. So when we were in here for Easter, I had this pillow, which I've had since post-Christmas, just so you know. At Valentine's Day, right after Christmas, I did Valentine's Day. So I had um, some heart pillows. Uh, they were, some were pink and white. I know you didn't get to see it because I didn't film it. Some were pink and white, some were red and white and black, and it was stunning. At Easter, I had, whoops, <laughs> this beautiful little um, pillow I picked up at Michael's, which is, I just love this. And it's so muted and romantic. It really, really carries my romancing the home through. So what am I doing post-Easter? I am simply flipping this over. Again, you guys, you know, unless you're entertaining and you're worried that someone's going to go, oh, why are your pillows backwards? I'm not entertaining right now. So this is what I'm doing for my family. I am doing quick changes that save me money, save me time, save me storage space. And did that on all four pillows. On my coffee table for Easter, I had an Easter runner across here. And I had um, a taller bouquet of flowers here. So I took away the Easter runner, but I felt like I needed something at that point uh, to contain things because the runner itself has some kind of containment feeling and things don't just feel like they're scattered around. I, I like things to feel cozy, like they're a vignette. So I brought in my big tray that was previously on the table in the rotunda. And I, I am leaving this beautiful um, piece here. I don't think this is Easter. I just think it's an exquisite piece that can be out really year round. I left my posters. I left my candle holder and candle. And then I just flipped this out. I didn't have to change this so literally I could have just done one exchange, remove my runner and pop in a tray and I would have been done. But in unpacking, I found one of my beautiful pieces here and I just wanted to use it. I would love it to be on a little bit of a riser, but I don't have one. Um, and it's so small 
like I would stack it on some books, but I already have books here and I have stacked books over behind the sofa. So I don't really think that would be a great idea. But if I had, I know, I, I mean, I can see some of the risers that I'd love to have here, but I don't have them and I'm not buying anything right now. So that's done. As far as my mantle, let me lift this up. So if you recall, my mantle was actually like this and I had a very delicate pastel colored uh, little eggs and whatnot in um, intermixed in here and I had a gold bunny on each side. So I took out that other garland and took away the bunnies. So I took two things away. I dropped this down, put that back so you can't see my hook and I'm done. Um, I did very little to nothing. I added nothing and took two things away. Over here, I took away the big wreath that I had that had a bunny on it. It was a window pane wreath. And I took away, um, I had a bunny that was uh, white on a pole that was here. And I just moved the clock over and closed up that vignette so it, it had relationship to each other. That's it. I left everything else out and I think it looks great. This is so simple. Last, oh guys, I want to take you outside. I'm gonna. Lastly, on my bench, I had a bunny pillow and I just took the pillow away. Um, do I have a pillow that could go there? I think I do, but I'm not really too worried about it because I'm going to be moving that bench over pretty soon. That's it. So today, I hope you've enjoyed some super simple transitional ways to keep your budget low. You don't need a giant, vast array of decor items. If you just kind of plan it out and be a little bit flexible with yourself. I mean, there could be a time in my life where I would have said, turn my pillow around. No way. But I am learning that these kind of things are so simple. I told you in my laundry room, the little somebody, somebody loves you pillow. I had kept that out all year reversed because it had a plaid on the back. I actually thought it was a Christmas pillow till I was packing it away and I'm like, oh, I have a bunny. I have an Easter pillow here I can use right away. So it just taught me right away, let's just be a little bit more flexible. You don't have to go out and buy new pillows every time there's a change in season. You guys, I just had to end with this. I mean, this is the most beautiful view right now. The clouds, the temperature's gorgeous. And I just, wow. I guess I'll turn you around. Thanks for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed it and that there were some tips that will work for you, maybe inspire you to try and decorate something that you wouldn't have before because it was just too much trouble. Because I've heard that from people before. Oh, I don't want to go through all that. It's just too much. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get another video out. I'm going to give it a shot. Today is the day that we are transitioning from one place to another. And then um, we'll be taking our, our flight out. What are we doing, you guys? Some of you want to know. Um, we're taking a three-day cruise to Vancouver. And I've never been to Vancouver before, so I'm very excited. In fact, one of my subscribers lives there. I can't remember your name, but she was telling me that her house was um, selected or maybe she applied and it was selected to be on a heritage tour um in may so i won't get to see it i think it was the end of may but i'm very excited for her and um i just love that it's kind of a small world i mean i was talking to somebody uh on the comments and it, she was in ireland and i'm like i just love this you guys um the only thing i'm having trouble with was the translation of some of them i mean somebody i i think she was maybe from denmark and it was a different 
uh, language in my comments. So I haven't figured out how to translate that yet. But thank you so much for joining me. I really do hope that you'll subscribe and come back as soon as I'm back. And if I can, I'm going to sneak in one more video that I will schedule while we're gone. I don't think I'll get two in for next week. And when we get back, it's full speed ahead for summer. You guys have the best weekend. I hope the weather's great where you are. So I love y'all and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.